Hi Cancer, this is going to be a general love reading for May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and your Venus signs. It is going to be general as always, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs, or book a personal reading, and all that information is in the description box. And also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Okay, let's see what is going on with Cancer in May, or first half of May actually. What are the overall energies for Cancer, Sun, so Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we have Barrier and we have Destruction. Okay. So it's actually kind of good, right? Because this actually says that a barrier is going to be destroyed. However, because this, is, this Destruction card is like the Tower, um, it might be something that is a little bit challenging, a little bit difficult to face. It could be for you, it could be for your person, it could be for the both of you. All right, we'll see what we get when we get into the tarot here. Whatever the case, I feel like something that was serving as a barrier um, in this connection is now coming crashing down. All right, and it's just going to be a little bit difficult as that, as that happens for at least the one of you. Or it could just be, you know, whatever was serving as a barrier for you um, and for you regarding love might be coming down. So take that as it resonates. Okay, let's see. Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, for the situation, we have the Hierophant crossed by the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so it feels like... Hmm. Hold on. Let me just get a few more. Recent past, we have the Eight of Wands. Near future, we have the Star. Okay, so that's really, really positive. I just want to get... I'm just going to get the rest of them, and then I will explain. For you, we have the Five of Cups. For them, we have the Eight of... Uh, what am I saying? Because <laughs> I'm seeing the Eight. It's the Strength. More about you is the moon. For them, the two of cups potential outcome is the sun and a message here is the six of swords. All right. All right, Cancer. I think I see what's going on. I feel like there's a, there's, there's possibly another commitment here, all right, for most of you. Um, it doesn't have to be, but that's just one of the messages that I'm getting very, very strongly here, all right? There's Possibly another commitment, and it does feel like, you know, this person may, if, if it's the other person, they were um, investing in this in a way where it just did not bring about results, um, or it didn't bring the results that they, that they had wanted. And I do get a sense of waiting, all right? So waiting for there to be some kind of, resor of a result, and then there just isn't. Um, this commitment does not have to be... A marriage, although it definitely could be with the Hierophant, um, but it could be just something really, really big, something that is really powerful, like a career, a job, um, a location. It could be anything um, that this person possibly felt very um, committed to, whoever this is, you or them. Um, I feel like there was also a lot of quick movement in the past in a certain direction. Um, or possibly there's been some communication about this. We'll see if we clarify that. I do see that you are you are feeling like you are at a loss here. You're you're grieving. It's like you're in a very um, sad energy, possibly depressed. Uh, I feel like you might be holding on to certain things from the past, or maybe you're trying to let this go, and it's and it's very very difficult for you to do that. Um, there's just a lot of sorrow in your energy at the moment and I do get that you know you might you might be having some fear or maybe not being able to see past this like what what comes next you know am I always going to feel this way so there might be some illusions or some you know distortions that you might be holding on to and it could even be because you don't know what's coming up you you can't see what's going on here 
I do see things getting a lot better, all right, a lot better. Because we have the star in the in the near future, okay, which is all about healing. It can be recovery. It can be, you know, um, finally seeing the light and moving in a direction where you feel like it's leading you towards something that you would want and that you would desire. And then we also have the sun as the potential outcome here, all right, which is happiness. It's the opposite of the moon. So that's really, really great. Um, for them, they have strength and they have the Two of Cups. Okay, so this person definitely also feels the love here. There's there's a connection here for them and I do feel like it, it is you, okay? Depending on if you're cross-watching or however this is going or if there's a third party, um, you would know. There's a lot of love here and this person is getting stronger, finding courage within them, possibly to come after this love. All right, and for the message, we have the Six of Swords. So it could be, again, that something might need to be released here. Moving away from conflict and moving to something that is going to be more peaceful. And I do see that coming up with the sun. So let's start clarifying and, and see what this is really about. Feels like there's a lot. All right. So the higher hand with the Seven of Pentacles. This doesn't have to be another, a, a different commitment, by the way, okay, it could just be this commitment and it could be that you feel like you invested a lot in this um, relationship, in this commitment with this person and then you didn't get the result that you were expecting, alright? So clarifying that, we have the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Star showing up again. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of passion here. I feel like, first of all, this connection is very strong. There's something very, very powerful to it, okay? Whatever, whatever this is, whether this is you and them or whether this is something else, um, it's something that is very, very strong. This is, could be something that this person just felt at one point either like it is something that they really wanted or if it was a challenge to overcome that it was something that they could overcome and I feel like whatever the challenge is here whoever this is there is hope okay is what I'm getting there is definitely hope here um, let me actually clarify that eight of wands in the recent past because I'm curious All right, we have the, oh, that's interesting. Okay, we have the world and we have the Ace of Wands. All right, so things were moving. There was, there was a point in time in the recent past where things were moving in a direction where it felt like whatever that barrier was, whatever that problem was, that it was completed, okay? And it could even be just you trying to get over this person, okay, for example. Um, it could be anything. Whatever, or it could be, you know, this, the other person um, having to move away from another, from another commitment, okay? And whatever that is, I feel like this is something that you or them, whoever this is, really, really wanted and still really, really wants. And in the past, it felt like it was completed, it felt like it was overcome, and it felt like there was this new beginning, but I feel like it all happened so quickly that it wasn't really complete. And so that's why you find yourself in this situation now. And if this is you here, you know, really having invested in this, in this commitment, you know, I feel like you actually did a lot. You did it with passion. You, you, you had a lot of movement. You put in a lot of effort. I feel like you were, you know, you, you were chasing this. All right, because it was something that you really, really wanted because you felt so strongly about it. And from the looks of it, I mean, your person feels the same way, but there's, I, I something, well, something happened. <laughs> Something happened here that was not resolved. Um, let's see the Five of Cups for your energy. All right. 
Ooh, there's that seven of pentacles again. Yeah, so I feel like it's you that had invested a lot um, and waited to get the results that you did not end up getting. The queen of swords and then also the seven of cups. All right. So you're feeling very um, depressed. You're feeling, it, it could even be guilt for some of you, some regret possibly. Um, for maybe having invested so much in this and I feel like you've made this decision to just kind of try to get this out of your life but because it still causes you so much pain it also creates some confusion and you don't know how to go about um, dealing with this that's that's what I'm getting let me see the moon and we have the page of pentacles yeah so like I said I feel like you're having a hard time seeing what is beyond this like can I can I move on from this is there a way to recover is you know what is, what is it that is going to happen um, it's like you don't really know what's going on and it's like you just feel like you're at a loss and I feel like what the message here for you is, you know, give yourself some time. Um, give yourself some time and you will get on, on the right path here. You will get back on track. You will be able to see um, the way to move forward on this path. And it doesn't mean necessarily that you're not ending up with this person, all right? I don't, I don't know that. Um, what I do see though is happiness here and it's all about you really you know allowing these illusions of there not being a way forward allowing those illusions to just to just dissolve you know give yourself time you can process them you can feel them you can you know even believe them for a little while but the more that you can come out of that and try to find your own balance you will be able to find that path to move forward and start taking you know practical actions in that direction um, but let's see what's going on with your person let me clarify strength because I mean I see them I mean, and you know what, this actually, this, for some of you, this energy that I've been describing might be in reference to someone else other than this person that's showing up here. It could be two different people that are playing a part in your life and one of them, and it could be that one of them was a barrier to the other and that there has, there, there's this destruction that's happening right now of one of these situations in order for you to um, move forward. But again, take the messages as they as they resonate. Um, and yeah, roles can be reversed as well. So your person here for strength, they have the Fool and they have the Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, there's a lot of love here. This person, I feel, is willing to um, really take a risk for you. This person would want to have this new beginning with you, even if they don't know where, what it's leading to. Um, I see them very willing and here's Oliver, <laughs> um, very willing to move forward in the, with this um, with you in love. For whatever reason, it would also require strength from their end, um, possibly some compassion, some understanding of something that may have happened, or something that you might be dealing with. But I'm seeing I'm seeing very positive energy on the on their side. Let's see the two of cups. Okay, the Three of Swords and the Six of Cups. All right, so this person is also feeling pain. Um, I don't know what this pain is. I mean, it could be related to, to you in the sense of, you know, you being in the energy that you are in is creating some kind of pain for them because it could be that you have moved away 
from this connection or you're not 100% there because you're feeling these deep, <laughs> um, dark energies that you are feeling. I feel like this person is heartbroken that there is that there's not this reconciliation, that it's not there at the moment. Again, roles can be reversed. Um, and they would really want this reconciliation with you. Let's see what's coming up. Let me see the star. Okay, we have the Five of Wands and we have a Judgment. Okay, so whatever it is that is serving here as the barrier, I feel like it is coming up to the surface in order to be healed. Okay, and I mostly see this as being on your end because I'm seeing all of that difficult energy on your side. And I feel like this is really coming up to the surface. This is coming into your awareness in a way where it is allowing you to have a rebirth, all right? Having both judgment and the star here, right? And then the five of wands representing that challenge. This is something, it's something big. I feel like it's a major revelation that is coming up um, in the near future. And this is going to help you to refine yourself. And that's why I'm saying, you know, you will be able to find that new path. You know, just give yourself some time. Give yourself some time. Allow yourself to feel what you're feeling. Allow something to be, you know, disrupted if it needs to be disrupted. Yeah. If it needs to be. And just allow yourself to process whatever whatever feelings come up because that's how you're going to heal them. Let's see the sun. All right, the Eight of Cups and the Moon again. <laughs> that sun is going to come out. As soon as you walk away from that moon energy, as soon as you leave the illusions behind, as soon as those illusions are destroyed, I feel like that is pretty much what the barrier is. Because um, you do have the moon twice and you also have the Seven of Cups showing up here. So I feel like, yeah, you know, this whatever this is, whatever this is that is surfacing, this truth that is coming up that you're going to see, that is going to help you to release your fears, the illusions of whatever it is. And that is when you will be able to see that there is, there's this beautiful sun shining here. All right, this, this person really wants this connection with you. I don't know exactly what it is that may have happened. Um, like I said, I feel like there might be something on your end that needs to be released here that is causing you to have these fears. Possibly even doubting doubting yourself and not being able to see um, a reality very, very clearly. But you are, you are healing that. So yeah, so that Six of Swords here as the message, you know, take that as guidance. To leave that conflict behind, leave those things behind, just allow the past to be the past. Give yourself time, but allow the past to eventually be the past so that you can move forward towards that sun. It's like this person is just waiting for you to, to heal and to let that tower fall, let, let something be destroyed, you know, if something needs to end in your life, allow it to end. Allow yourself to see it clearly, because you can always see it clearly. It's just a matter of allowing yourself to. So, Cancer, let's get your final oracle message. All right, we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I, you know, the way that this is coming through to me is, you know, flirt with life, not not necessarily with this person. All right, because this is like I feel like this is the exact opposite of what we're seeing in this reading, because there's a lot of heaviness um, in your reading this time around. So it, this is spirit's way of saying, you know, allow yourself to just flirt with life. You don't have to take things 
so seriously, okay? You can be a little bit more lighthearted and just give yourself that time for things to, to work out and that sun will come out. All right, Cancer, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.